even to this day. Like you could just t like like you were saying, like it seemed like a motherfucker slowing down or like when people see slowing down, they act different. Mm. Like and you could just tell the energy and that goes with anybody. Like every artist deal with it too. Like you could just tell, like, like damn, it ain't the same as when you got this lit. Mm. Like I could tell the difference of the way acting when I'm just chilling and when I ain't doing nothing. Or when I post a the video with the baby going viral or the freestyle. It, nah, if I, I could just tell the energy it's just different. Like the way they just act. And it'd be like all that type of shit that I do, it'd be premeditated. Mm -hmm. Like I know like it's, I'm like, I'm about to set like that video with the baby. I set on that. I just do like that on purpose. Like I'll be having it premeditated. Like mm -hmm. I, I I know exactly what to do. I know how to go viral as I please, when I feel like it, and when it's the right time. Mm -hmm. So I say the moments for this big moment tonight. Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J. Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J. Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you're suffering from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident, make sure you call my guy Top Dog Law. That's Top Dog Law on Instagram and topdoglaw.com. Look, if you check out his Instagram, you'll see he uploading big checks. I mean, like every day. I ain't talking about the little ones. The big ones. So shout out to my guy, Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. Yo, what's popping? You know what time it is. Uh, J Hill, Mr. J Hill Podcast. We here. It keep going up. You did. It keep going up. Yes, Yo, this sir, guy man. right here, I was trying to get him on the show for like uh, a year or two now, I think, man. That's crazy. You probably don't even know. No, I don't. But I ain't mad at you, though. Yeah. I was telling somebody, they was like, uh, who you got? I'm like, Doughboy. I'm like, that's somebody else I was trying. Because like you said, you came in like acknowledging the growth. I appreciate it, first of all. Yeah, for sure. You was like, man been going up i'm like yeah it's a blessing right. but um back to the story i was telling him like he was somebody i was trying to get on and this i've been having a lot of those stories though because i'm all i feel like you could check any rap dm i'm trying to get an interview as you should no fact so like but I, I was telling him i wasn't mad at you because you wasn't you ain't never see my it wasn't like you yeah, saw uh, it yeah exactly yeah it wasn't like exactly. you was playing or something like that you just it's it's really yeah you just know. ain't see it like you got mad know. dms <laughs> like but yeah. it be the that see my sh and try to act like i got you bro i, I hate them kind of like you full of <laughs> <laughs> like, like just not like that cap ass. Just keep it, just keep it funky. Like just say no. Exactly. That's, just tell me no. Ain't nothing wrong with a no. Facts. I hate when you give me the run up. I know you about to piss me off, bro. Facts. So or tripping. just just say like it ain't time yet or something like that. Or like exactly. keep working. Like I can take a no. Grown as grown. As <laughs> grown. As <laughs> like, just tell me no. But yo, dope boy is in the building. It's been going crazy. Oh, um, yeah. I feel like yo, I made an observation, but I don't know if it's, it's true. And, and we men. You could correct me if, if you could, if I if I say something wrong. I feel like a, like a year, maybe maybe two, not that long. Tear. You was <laughs> you was going stupid crazy, right? I feel like it slowed down for a little bit. Was that did, is that observation correct? You you ain't the first person that said that, and you're not wrong either. Though. Like it's it, but it's it's really just how I do my like so. Like, like even the, something I learned from Future and what he be on my like sometimes you, you, it's, see, I, I get the method where people be going like the consistency thing, mm -hmm. but it also, it'll burn itself out too. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you could take that approach, but it's also good to starve them and, 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 and do it the right way. Yeah. Be strategic with your moves. Like, cause like when I dropped my last album, I dropped my last album last January, mm -hmm. went number three on Apple all genres, my biggest drop ever. I dropped again, I tried to hurry up and drop again. And like what I, I put out another project with that was in June or like June, July, something like that. I tried to hurry up and drop again, but I didn't use the same formula like as far okay. as the promotion, the time that it took and actually the effort. Mm -hmm. And it went like number 20. But that's cool Which though, cause it, it was just, it, it, it was a surprise project, 10 songs. But that's still like, not bad though. It was, Come Good. From? No, it's great. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Like on the, and it was also a surprise, but it still wasn't. I didn't outdo the last project, okay. so it's like that project did so well because of the way I set it up. Like even like when I did this album, like like I've been promoting it for a year. Damn near, I didn't really tell them exactly what the project was, but I was just letting you know my album on the way. Album mm -hmm. on the way, and just promoting it, really mastering the craft, really going to get the correct features, really doing the right 
the right things to make the album as big as it could be instead of just waking up and be like, ah, oh, I just want to drop my music. Thanks. Because I got music for days and I could just drop it, but what's the point of dropping it if people ain't going to hear that? Like, no, so I need that to reach where I wanted to reach. So, you know, I'll be real patient. So on the outside looking in, it might look like, damn, he's slowing down, but I'm really speeding up because I'm really, I'm really making power plays yeah. behind the scenes and really setting up my punches like the way I do my so facts. It always it definitely we looked was, like that. You're not the first person to say that. We was talking about tank and uh it, it reminded me of that, right? They say tank got like some of the the, the lowest uh punching outputs in boxing. Yeah. Because when he hits you, that motherfucker. Exactly. Hit. Exactly though. Who knocks out more than this though? Like, don't nobody hit harder than this. Like nobody got more knockouts than this. <laughs> Bro, like every fight is gonna be a knockout. Yeah, and they Everyone. always talk about his output of punches. It don't matter. It don't matter. What it matter? Cause when I land, this is over with. It's over with. Exactly. So I feel you. Sometimes you do gotta take that step back to like to jump forward, right? Exactly. Even like, even like a slingshot, you gotta pull that back. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So I get it. I I was curious though because back in like 20, what was it 13? When you get booked, you got oh, booked a long I, like I, I went 10 to, years yeah, ago. It was 2013. Yeah. 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 I feel like. I don't want to say falling off, but what, 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 just how we talk. We looking at you falling off and going and getting booked. I looked at it like, damn, that could be similar in the way of how they treat you, how they move with you. Mm -hmm. I wanted to move differently when they thought you was falling off or fell back. All I wanted, did you, what did you witness that? Man, yeah, like even to this day, like you could just, t like, like you were saying, like it seemed like a mother slowing down or like when people see slowing down they act different mm. like and you could just tell the energy and that goes with anybody like every artist deal with it too like you could just tell like like damn it ain't the same as when you got this lit mm. like i could tell the difference of the way acting when i'm just chilling and when i ain't doing nothing or when i post a the video with the baby going viral or the freestyle Dick. and I, I could just tell the energy it's just different like <laughs> the way they just act and it'd be like all that type of shit that i do it'd be premeditated mm -hmm. like i know like it's, I'm like, I'm about to say, like that video, with the, I sat on that, I just do like that on purpose, like I be having it premeditated, like, mm -hmm. I, I, I know exactly what to do, I know how to go viral as I please, when I feel like it, and when it's the right time, mm -hmm. that's why I say the moments for this big moment tonight, like. Nah, facts. It's crazy, but understanding that though, right, it still hit different when you fit, when it's, when it's you care about what you don't want to act dirty, we, 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 we men, but at the end of the day, it's times where do us dirty and we wish it, it didn't go that way yeah, right yeah. like it, it gotta hit different sometimes like really moving funny out here and that's crazy yeah man i've been going through like as mm. far as like with with that i love and like that like in a in a, in a bit that i love and it really done went to the worst of the worst that you could think of in your head it done went there like mm. feel me with that i really love like you feel me and that claim you love me and, and and like you a real live you was a op, like, mm. so it'd be like, just be crazy how 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 dirty it is, and it and it really be, I'll be like, why though? Like, cause when I sit back and I look at it, I'll be like, damn, a n can't never say like like not nobody that I work with can't never say some that I did to them. Like, mm. it was I don't do, f like I don't I just don't even move like that. Like I'm a genuine person. I don't get in nobody way. That's my n like I don't do weird. Sh so it's like it's always about what you didn't do. Mm. It's never like, I never did nothing to you. You mad at me about what I didn't do. Them that don't even make sense. Them expectations. Are Go get, you ain't even that mad at this who did something to you. Joe slimed you out, did all kinds of stuff from you. You ain't mad at him. But because you I ain't buy you the Gucci shoes last week, now you mad at me. I bought you a pair before. I suppose the reason I paid mind your that. rent. Facts. God, you was finna be evicted. I paid your mama rent. Yo, looking back on it, right? Let's 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 slow down for a second, right? Looking back on it, this is really from the trenches. You from right. Cleveland, right? And for the from that, Baltimore, we yeah, about like that. we from the trenches, for real though. So. I know when you had them, for, for lack of better words, hoop dreams, right? Wanting to be in a rap game, and you was like talking with your and shit, and I can't wait so we could do this, do this, and that. To being in it, it looks so different, right? Like yeah. you thought you was gonna be able to bring all your. And you had to learn. Be, yeah. Like, man, I swear, it even used to be like, like I always had the 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 the, the dream of like, man, I want to blow up. I want to blow up. Big house full of mm -hmm. like that. And I had, I did that. Like, I like even like in my house, like I didn't have all my 
and we'd be in my house 10, 15 deep. God, but I'm older now, so it's like, all right, now this shit, that way don't clean up after they sell certain. They just irritating. I'd be like, I'm not a kid no more, so this shit not it's not as fun as it would have been if we was 16, 17, yeah, rich trying and to famous, get by, and, and we just thugging like yeah. I ain't like you know I'm on some whole other. Shit. So that that type of shit just be like, this shit ain't what I thought it would be though, and mm. and and don't understand that shit. like all oh, you don't want to, but bro, I'm grown as like bro, I'm in here like I'm chilling like I ain't. I don't want to take care of a bunch of n- in my house all the time. Like it's cool here and there, but like sometimes you know I want to chill with this girl. Like if it's my mama here, like that. Like I don't got like you know people don't be understanding though, and 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 it breed hate, and and it just be it's, it's wicked though. Like a um, uh, the the sh- that nigga really go through with this. Sh- like every like all your friends want to be rappers, so you gotta you gotta promote everybody. Sh- this man, you post this. More, he feel like he you post him more. I post. What about I? I post you. I do this. I post everybody. Like it's uh, it's crazy because like let's let's talk through the the lens of you, right? Being that artist, you you had or you have relationships with Future, right? Mm-hmm. Future not posting you every day. You get, he, but, man, you think, that don't mean he don't love you. Yeah, right? no, that's why. That's why. That's why. I, I swear to God, I always uh, uh, compare my situation to like and not not be having to make a understand like like be like because you've been doing this to me since i ever met them. like be trying to put poison in your brain and like i'm, I'm not a weak-minded person though but do this to about me why he ain't why he ain't do this or why he ain't do that it's always gonna do it so i know is in the streets doing this to my like mm. why don't we get you the lamborghini or like that like i know because i know how to do me when it was coming to bruh so it'd be like but you can't say no like that to me. Like, you can't, because I'm not a weak-minded person. I know everything is done for me, and can't nobody tell me nothing about him, mm. period, point blank. But everybody not that strong-minded and that loyal and going to stand on business like that, though. So, like, That's crazy. I don't care. He don't, you don't got to promote me all day, every day. You did it enough. You didn't post <laughs> me on your real page. Nigga, you changed my it, life. <laughs> thank you. The post you gave me millions of dollars. I don't give a f- Like, what? I Like, that. It don't mean nothing to me though. Like, it's cause I feel like this is crazy. How bro. soon forget though? It's crazy. I, it's like just talking to you. I understand the passion because it's like, bro. Like even like you mad at me for some expectations, some false expectations, expectations that you got. You want me to get you all this and that? Like yeah, I'm I'm still trying to get it myself. Like yeah, I probably got my my mom a, a crib or or a car, but it ain't the big crib. It ain't the big car. Like, like not yet. Like I ain't even do that for her. You so think, why you think you finna get it? <laughs> like, crazy. <laughs> You crazy as f- be crazy. <laughs> nah, facts. <laughs> Man, this be crazy. Yo, like. what was the? I guess when was the last time that it really settled in and it, it like with you though? Cause we, it's funny cause we know this, but it's mm-hmm. st- it hit different when it hit a couple days ago. Like, damn, it's weird going on a couple days ago. It's always all the time. It's always something like that. Like, yo, how did you? Something I got to deal with for the rest of my life, I guess. But how do you deal with that now, right? Cause think about it. Life is so different. Like back in the day, even when you was first getting in the game, when you was first getting in the game, you still was young, you still was knucklehead, right? But you, I'm, I'm assuming, and you could correct me if I'm wrong, I hope I'm right, but you know <clears throat> you're older now, and you know you got too much to lose. So you can't crash out, right? So how do you deal with this on understanding that, bro, I got more to, I got more to lose than this one. I can't crash out because if I crash out, so many people, so many other people crash out, you feel me? It's so much to lose now. You can't just wild out on how you deal with that now? <clears throat> Man, I just, I just, I know how to, I know how to, um, like you say, I know how to control myself real good. Like, even, even if you, you could, you could come at me this way, I'm gonna respond back in the whole. Like, I, I, I learned how to not respond back like this. Like when you, if you come at me like this, I ain't gonna throw my middle finger back up at you unless it, I really just got to. Mm. But sometimes because I understand also because be frustrated and and sometimes it don't even really be towards you like mm. it be like it's not even it's not even really your fault and they no, just it's... they just they just expressing themselves and you just ended up in the way you just ended up in the way that day and it was like man i be understanding like 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 even like how i was saying like i got to do weird and then i also i got who 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 a tweak on me but it's not even i don't even i'm not even i ain't gonna call it weird like i'm gonna be like i understand you and like that, like, cause you got certain too, 
who I got who do who get mad about certain but it don't be like a ill type of mad mm. like and it might be something we might argue about but we gonna get over it mm. and certain you got weird just really weird right. but like you know i i understand so at the same time i understand the most frustration and everybody can't conduct themselves how i conduct myself and i have to understand that and that's what comes with being a boss you got to know how to control all your like you got to know every single inside out because that's what you signed up for when you're the, the leader of a movement yeah. like you got to deal with it got to deal with it like these are the people that's they so you have to know how to keep this structured and on the right path. Like, so if I feel like you you getting off track, I'm gonna grab like, hey, come here and put you back on the right. I'm not gonna let you just go off the deep end. Like, I'm, mm. gonna, hey, you tripping? You go this way. Well, all right. So it makes sense. Everything you saying it makes sense. But it's times where it ain't that simple. Facts. What I guess who, who are the ones that can like push that button? It might be a select few. You don't have to say no names, but like, who are the ones? Is is it the is it your is it your family? Is it the ones you knew from back then who think they know who is the really the ones where it's like it makes sense and I can say all this, but when it hit, it's like I might really tweak out like, um, and then you go back and look in the mirror like I should have did that. Mm. See, see, it be so crazy. My, my family don't even do that to me no more. Like they don't even, cause I be so like my fam like I got my my real family that I fuck with for real. Like we we is everything is all good vibes. And then I got like I ain't gonna lie, the the who who I feel like they not around me no more. I don't even mm. talk to them. Like when do that, I distance myself. I get the fuck on on. When I feel like if if you can make me mad to the point where I want to do something to you, you don't need to be around me. Like mm. so, get the fuck away from me because we gonna really hurt each other around this. So like, feel me? I don't even deal with them that that I feel that kind of way about. So everybody that I still even talk to, you can't you if make me that mad you probably can't even talk to me no more like mm. i probably won't open your message or i won't even like you can't even reach me for real so. I, that's crazy it's crazy because i asked that because the only people that can make me that mad is probably like my moms and my girl yeah like, that's <laughs> what i'm wondering like it gotta be like something for you yeah, be, because i can't just like push them <laughs> but it's it's like it'd be it'd be man my like that's where a lot of it come from like a lot of the go through like be stressed out because yo like, Facts. like my mama would get on my nerves sometimes too. Like we argue about certain, but that's my mama. Yeah, you can't. That. She like, got. She here. Doing that with her my whole life. Facts. Like my girl is like like that. Like we fight all the time. Like we could fight. Like, but it's not ill to the point to where I can't deal with you. Like, Facts. You know, but them when they get like that, get the like, way. Yo, this episode is sponsored by the Morning Meetup. Man, shout out to my guy David Shines. Man, he's probably one of the few people I know who actually built. Multiple multi-million dollar businesses, right? He created the Morning Meetup to help other entrepreneurs do the same thing. Now listen, as an entrepreneur myself, I know how hard it can get, especially when we start making money and we get to like this financial cap that we can't get past. And honestly, let's be real. They say it ain't what you know, it's who you know. We probably can't get past this cap because we either, one, outgrew the people around us, or two, we just being lazy and weighing in the rooms we need to be in. It's just plain and simple. But trust me, this is your time because the morning meetup is that room we got to be in. It's filled with, filled with entrepreneurs getting to it. They reading different books every month, right? They holding each other accountable. And it's just honestly just something dope to be a part of. So listen, if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to get to this bag, you're trying to flourish more than you've been flourishing now, you got to go to the morningmeetup.com. That's www.themorningmeetup.com and join now. Let's get to it. I see you there. Damn, so do you feel like you... you Shit, looking back on it, do you feel like you threw away some friendships or had some misunderstandings and you was too quick to cut a nigga off? No. Not I got I got very good ju uh, for real, for real. My flaw is I sometimes be waiting too late. Mm. I be I be a little late because I always want to see the good in a nigga. I always try to see the good in a nigga. Be like, oh, well, he ain't. The whole time, like, when a nigga show you a flaw, don't ignore it. It really exists. Mm. So when a nigga show you he this way, that's really how that nigga is. I don't know why you think he gonna wake up and change one day. Like he a grown ass man. This nigga thirty years old, and he been this way for thirty years. He ain't gonna change, especially gonna for change you. One day. Yeah, nigga, you like, ain't giving nigga, that nigga no pussy. Like, like, you, like <laughs> nigga, what? So what the fuck you, <laughs> nigga? When niggas show you them type of characteristics, bro, believe that going on because it'll cost you later. So what about this then? Like I, so my conversations really be like the same because I'm on my way up, right? You've been in this shit for like at least. Six, all right, at least minimum. 
like lit lit. Like I ain't talk like not doing music, but like you as far as like, you was fucking with uh future what 2018. Shit, I, nigga, I've been fucking with Future since 2012. Yeah, 2011. yeah, because you got booked and you were signed. Yeah, yeah without I was, you ain't I had been a fucking with Future since 2011. Facts. So you've been in this shit for yeah. So you've been doing this shit for over 10 years, right? So, so understanding when a nigga say something, believe it. Like, how are you maneuvering? Like, damn, I can't even say that. that's that Baltimore shit for that's real. Maneuver. <laughs> <laughs> how you? I can't even say. How you? Mm-hmm. How you maneuvering in in the industry now when there's so many niggas that be on flawed time? And knowing that bullshit. Oh, these niggas. See, I, I really had to realize what's going on in this shit. Like, when I got in the game, you know, a nigga happy to be in the industry mm-hmm. and shit. It's cool. Like, oh, Thank shit. Thank you for I'm everything. Such and such. Uh, but the more and more, like, y'all niggas, like, now that this shit is, like, nothing to me. Talk to me. And I don't, I don't care for all that, that fake shit out the window, for real. Like, I, I already see through it now because I done, I done been through situations with, with rappers and shit and see how these niggas is, how these niggas act about everything, like, these girls, these everything, bro. These niggas be tripping, bro. Like these girls, nigga. We supposed to be players, girls. though. Like what's y'all niggas be tripping, though. Like niggas really be tripping, bro. Right. The shit you would see, like the rap, the way how they niggas be acting behind the scenes, bro. Like damn, why you say that about me, bro? Ski, damn, I thought you loved me. Like, feel me? This like, this shit will show you, like these niggas is not your friend. Facts. And I, that's something I really had to realize. These niggas not my friends. So now I'm moving. Like I know who my friends. I know who especially ain't my when it come to like. It's like you season now, right? Like at first, and when you first came in, it's like, man, damn, nigga really showing love. But then you start to understand, and not to be arrogant, but a lot of times, yeah, niggas can't understand it because you in it. Only the niggas that's probably like on your level above can understand. That's like, a niggas probably show you love. At first, it was like, man, damn, man, really show me love. Like, he doing me, doing me a solid. Then you understand mm-hmm. that, like, nah, nigga, like, it's, it's, it's beneficial right here. Yeah, it, 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 he didn't really just show you. He, it was a, a method to his plan. Facts, it was like, mutual. It was mutual, nigga. Yeah, like, even like, you ain't doing me no favor. It's big. It's big. All right, baby, because because niggas get caught up in nigga, nigga, nigga doing you a favor because you want to come up and then a nigga do some shit for you. Be like, oh man, that nigga was showing me love. He was really checkmating something. Like mm-hmm. he probably wasn't just doing nigga gang just helping you just to help you. Like, yeah. Oh, I just want to help this. Some niggas is. I ain't gonna say every nigga not genuinely like that, but a lot of but niggas. It, but hold on, like even at the highest level, right? You might can't say too much about this because this your guy. But like on the highest level, let's look at it. And it's just business. This ain't nothing, nothing crazy. I ain't about to say nothing crazy. Let's look at Drake, right? Mm-hmm. Drake show a lot of young niggas love, right? But at the same time, it helped him too. Like him, he's staying, he staying relevant with the, like he, like it ain't just, it, it, you know what I'm saying? It's a win-win and, situation. And this, and this goes back to, but it's also, it ain't even nothing wrong with that too. Because at the end of the day, as a, as a grown man, a adult, period, you should never do nothing in life that don't make sense. Facts. If it don't make no sense, why the fuck is you doing it? Like, it, no cap. I don't expect nobody to do nothing like that. But I that. think early niggas ain't understand that, though. Yeah. Well, I don't know about you. Like, early it was like, man, nah, niggas really looking out for me. And there's nothing wrong with a nigga doing something that's mutual to him. Just don't try to hold it over my head on the bullshit. Mm-hmm. I feel like a lot of niggas be on that weirdo shit. A lot of niggas be like, yo, I did this nigga. Yeah, don't don't do me no favors then. No, like, exactly. if you wanna come back and you gonna throw that shit in my face, I don't want it. You want some weirdo time. No, fair. I feel like it definitely be like that here. Like, I don't know. Like, maybe I'm a little bitter. I don't fuck no, with nobody. You're right though. Like, shit. I feel you, shit. <laughs> these niggas don't deserve it. I'm telling you, these niggas weird, bro. You feel like do you feel like niggas go wrong though sometimes? Because like I say this all the time, like, I don't fuck with nobody like that at all, barely anybody. And I don't care to say that. I know I interview the niggas all the time, but it's like, niggas is weird. And I Thanks. feel like, do you, but do you feel like that get in the way sometimes? Because I feel like I heard you say that before, like, you ain't really fuck with these rappers, niggas. Like, not for real. Yeah, see, one thing, when, when, you, when you start realize when you accept this shit for what it is, it'll just be way easier. Like, mm. like when you realize, like, all right, I understand niggas really ain't my friend. All right, mm. cool. But this business at the end of the day, let's do what we got to do. Let's, let's handle this business. Money. And then you gonna brush shoulders with certain niggas that you is gonna meet, and you gonna genuinely fuck with them. Be like, I do fuck with you. This a real nigga right here, and you gonna be able to decipher who who and what's what. You know the fuck niggas, and you know the real niggas. There's certain niggas that genuinely did help me, mm. and genuinely did do shit for me. Fact. Like I can't say that everybody was doing shit on some ill shit because I know some niggas who really is genuine, That's and fact. them niggas that I still love and still fuck with to this day. Mm. So it's just like you gotta just know, like nigga, nigga, know like vibes don't lie. That's it. Vibes don't lie. That's never, fact. never. Wait. So speaking of Drake. Did you ever drop that motherfucking song? The song never came out. It's, it's his song. It's actually his song. Oh, it's his song. Mm-hmm. What the fuck are you waiting for? You know, that man, that man got... Strategic he, as He's strategic <laughs> as fuck. Everything about him is like... 
Like, he's not going to do nothing. Like I said, if, if it don't make sense, it don't matter. He's not doing it. And he, you have to be like that. You the biggest rapper in the world down there. Like, you is. Like, you know? Facts. So you have to move that way. So I respect this shit. But is it a level? Is It, it got to be like some anxiety in there. Because as much as we understand, it's like, man, if this nigga drop this. I was feeling that way the whole time. When I first did that shit, when I first, when I, when, when I first, I'm like, I, I got like to anxious, like, bro, drop it, drop it. Nigga, drop. what? I'm like, oh, my God. But I was so happy. When I did this shit, I'm like, oh, it's on. Like, nigga, when I'm in this nigga house and we really doing this, I'm like, man, what the fuck? I'm texting Dirk. I'm like, man, man. I'm like, Dirk, I'm out of here. Like, I swear to God, I'm like, man, bro, this right after laughing, I'll cry later and all that shit. Yeah. I'm like, bro, I'm, nah, I'm nice. doing it. I talk about that all the time. Like, that. <laughs> <laughs> I, nigga, Drake, like, Dirk was, though. Dirk, like, Dirk, I'm from Baltimore, so you know, like, Drake was the, I mean, Dirk was the hood, nigga, everybody favorite. But we can't ignore, laugh now, cry later? To a different level. level. Yeah, for sure. Different level. A thousand percent. Damn, man. It's well, you street shit to a whole nother, like, they go pop star. So do you feel like, looking at it, you said this a couple of times, you a street nigga. Do you still feel that way? Am I a street nigga? Yeah. I'm forever going to be a street nigga. What that, what that mean? A street nigga, I, I say street nigga because of, like, the way I was raised. Like, okay. the way that I, I, I moved. Like in the the way that I handle myself, like mm. the, even even to now, even though I don't be in the streets like that, I still move like a street nigga. Like, okay, that makes like, sense. It's it's just a certain mentality that I got. Like, like motherfucking even just right now, like we was just doing some shit. I was just with my driver and we was fucking in Chick Fil A, and he like, yo, can I park right here and 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 use the bathroom? Can I park right? Nigga, you not finna? They just seen the dope boy in the back seat. Goddamn, I was just talking to the people. They seen him in the truck. And you talk about you want to park the truck and then go in there, use the bathroom, and go leave me else. sitting in the truck. No, you're not doing that. Yeah. So it's just certain. I'm extra paranoid, just like because I know how this shit go. Shit go left at any given second. So it's like I say I'm I'm a street nigga because of my mentality. That makes sense. Yeah. It's crazy. I was talking to um Simba, and we were talking about security, right? And he was like, you don't always have to have uh security everywhere you go, but you got to secure yourself at all times. Mm -hmm. Perfect example. You might not have security in that situation, but you make sure you secure it by being smart. Exactly. You feel me? It ain't about the physical aspect of security. It's about shit, even exactly. if you got a gig. Dude, when I got my security, I think for the security. Mm. Like, I, no, we do this like this, like this, like this. I got them to secure my security. Like, no, facts. for real, though. So it'd be like, shit, but as a, as a, like, I, I don't, I don't really care about being a street nigga no more. Like, I used to care about that shit, like, as far as, like, I'm going to be the biggest gangster there is. Like, that was, I used to be focused on that. Like, I really wanted to be the rawest street nigga. Like, but I don't aspire to be that anymore. And it's just, like, I'm grown as fuck now. Like, I really look back, I'm, bro, I'm almost 30, so I just don't care. Like, Niggas got I'm, real problems out this I'm motherfucker. not in the streets like that no more. I'm not running around. I don't, I'm not robbing niggas no more. I'm not shooting at niggas no more. I'm not doing none of this shit no more. Like, so it's, like. I'm not saying that a nigga won't. I don't want to have to. Mm. Like, it's like, so I just I just move accordingly so I don't be forced to be in a situation I don't want to be in. Because like, mm. cause I'm going to do it. And it's way better out here than in there. Yeah, it's like, exactly. Like it's, it's It ain't just, worth it, though. I don't, I, I, don't, I don't have nothing to prove. Like, so it'd be like, and and even even just like a nigga see like shit on the internet, like, when 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 people be trolling, they would be like, "Oh, you a hoe," or "Oh, you ain't this," and "No, oh, you ain't that." And of course, you go get that. But a motherfucker, you can't tell me like a nigga can't convince me otherwise. Like I know I'm a real loud G though. Like and, and I don't have no fuck shit on my resume. Like nigga never pulled my card. It, it never happened. Like ever in my life. Like ain't nothing I'm gonna ever back down from. Ever have. Never will. And I'm just not going for anything. And I don't. I don't want to I don't want to make it seem like that's a like that's not nothing to be proud of because at the end of that shit don't matter. Mm. Like that being a gangster don't matter. Like I really finally understand that like bro, that shit not raw. Like you could go outside and I could find a million of you. Like I could find a million niggas that shoot people. I can't find a million niggas with a million dollars. Like come on, man. It's different. Come it's on. different. So it'd be like, bro, that shit not if I want to be a gangster, nigga, I could be a gangster. Like, I could get on some gangster shit and be the biggest gangster to do this shit. Nah, I was talking to Fat Trail. Nigga said, nah, bro. He's like, yo, it was really gangster taking care of your family. That's Man, gangster. Bro, that's hard. That's people people not sitting back looking like, 
oh shit. I used to care about that shit back in the day when we was kids. Damn, oh that nigga such and such from over there. Oh, he be knocking niggas out. Oh, he be popping niggas. Oh, that nigga be smoking shit. That nigga, like, I used to care about that shit as a kid. But all it do is kind of put a target on your back. Cause now it's somebody somewhere who wanna be the one that took the giant down. Exact fact. Somebody Facts. somewhere. So you just Facts. putting your put yourself at a bigger target. Why not just move how you move? And if it if a situation presents itself. Man, bitches, the baddest bitches <clears throat> in the world, these Instagram models and these pop stars that everybody look up to and love, they is not looking for the biggest gangster. Mm. They is not looking for the nigga who shoot the most niggas. They looking for the nigga with the most money on. Nah, facts. Y'all niggas be worried about the wrong shit. That's like, no, no cap. It's funny because I brought that up because I was wondering, I'm like, I wonder if he still feel like this because I was thinking like, you know, it's, 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 it's I think this and you tell me what you think. I feel like it's impossible to be a street nigga currently, not mentally, right? To be a street nigga and be successful. It's like down there impossible to be a full-fledged street. Like, like niggas be, like, us as rappers, like, I ain't gonna say, because niggas be one foot in, one foot out. Like, I'm not even gonna sit here and say, like, I don't be around street shit. Like, I still be involved. I'm heavily involved, like, with shit. Like, and I still be, like, like, as far as when take I say it, I'm heavily I say, take involved. Take it easy, nigga. Take it easy. Yeah, when <laughs> I say heavily involved, I mean, like, not me being active. But Talk around, I be I will go to any city and go with the I will go to the most dangerous hood in the sense. world. Like that's why when I say heavily involved, like I I know like I'm not involved in it though. Like I fucking I'm a suburban nigga now. Like right, I'm yeah, a yeah. goddamn. It's not foreign. Yeah, like you feel me? So a nigga a nigga just gotta understand, like bro, what what do you want to do with your life? Like, you want to be rich? Or you want to be a shooter? And a lot of the shooters not rich. They not rich. They don't have no bread. They getting paid by the rich nigga to do some exactly. shit that the rich nigga don't want to do. Exactly. Mm. Do you want to be that? Nah, fact. That what you aspire to be with your life? Yo, looking back on it though, what was some of the like? What was, I was some, pathetic? What was some? But what was probably the some of the worst decisions you've made? Just looking back on it, man. It's just like even already being lit though, already being doughboy, not in the streets, but like. Having one foot in, one foot out when you did have, have it. Shit, shit, like, even like this, the shit, the shit I went to jail for, like, robbing, like, shit like that, like, still, like, and, and, like you said, like, it had been shit since me being Doughboy, like, I have, I'm not gonna sit here and say, like, a nigga a saint, like, I do, I have done, done shit and slipped up, like, I fucked up, like, no, but a nigga would be like, nah. I know I was tripping. At least I, I know how to right my wrongs. Like, mm. shit, all right. I can't move like that. I can't even be like that. Like, shit, even, like, going to jail and shit like that. Like, bro, come on now. Get it together. You blessed. Mm. You blessed. Don't fuck it up. Don't throw it away. <clears throat> Not to be on some trending topic type shit, but this, the correlation is there, so I got to ask. How important is it to have the right circle, right? Looking at, like, Job and Rent, for example. Like, yeah. perfect example of a nigga that's... <laughs> getting to it i mean more money than anybody i fucking know yeah and still just like i don't want to say if you're in the streets or not because that ain't i don't know i just like just because a nigga got a gun don't mean in the streets right but let's just say a nigga like that is still making the same mistake whatever that mistake is how how much of that do you look at and say that got that's a direct correlation of the people you got around you you can't even blame the people around you though because at the end of the day ain't no ain't nobody like making you pull this gun out and pull that bitch out Feel me? So it's like if the people around you can influence you, but it's ultimately up to you at the end of the day. Cause right. shit. But he young though. That's so, what I, so it's like we don't we don't like you were saying, like we don't know if this nigga this nigga might really be a he might be a gangster. We don't know. That nigga probably be he might be popping niggas. You don't know what this nigga doing. You don't know what this nigga <laughs> We don't doing. know. Fuck. He probably get busy, though. Know? <laughs> like, you would never know, though. Like, we don't know. We just be like, oh, he play basketball. He he can't be like, you don't know that. That nigga yeah, probably no just idea. slid on that nigga the other day. Fuck. You don't know that. like. So, But looking back on it, when you was younger, right? When you was 23 or even 21, prom in the streets, dope boy, but you still making music. Niggas know you signed the future, right? I if was, you had to look back on it, how much of it was the influence around you? I know you know you were your own man, but I'm just curious of picking your brain of looking yeah, back on it. See, see, I, I got to a point to where where it was me just making dumb decisions. Like, 
I was I was leading by example. Like it was me wanting the wrong things. Like mm. when I was when I was still young, but like coming up on the rap shit, but I was still young and fried. I I was st- I wanted the wrong things. Like oh, I'm about to be the most like I'm on some I'm rapping and shit, but I want to be the biggest gangster rapper. But I'm on some gangster shit. But I'm just like shit. So it's like. I'm goddamn telling these niggas like I'm in like so it's like I'm fucking up because I'm influencing the wrong shit. Mm. Like, like you said, like I'm I'm the you feel me? I'm I'm in this shit. Like I was in this shit. Like I really was, you know. And it more so wasn't me trying to be like like or be like influenced by them. It was more so it was me fucking up by influencing them to be you've the wrong a, way. Okay, like, you being the, the top dog. That's like so I'm top dog now. But it's wrong. Mm. But it was wrong though. Like. Like I was using my my power in the wrong ways back in the day. Like I was when I was young, I was fried. Like man, before I went to jail, it was terrible. I was using my power in the wrong ways. That's like, the conversation, nigga. So, me, so knowing that, right? This is gonna be hard. I don't even want to ask this, but I gotta ask it. Knowing that, we understand how important it is to use your influence in the right way because so many people look up to us, right? And using your platform for the right things. But on the other side, some things just make sense. For example, the music. The music is still heavily street influenced. Right. That's not saying I'm promoting it, but for somebody that don't know no better, it could seem like that. How do you feel about that? Do you even think, do you second guess it now? Like, I got to change my style of music or it's like. Yeah, no, nah, see, because at the end of the day, if, 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 if you grown as fuck or even if you, even if you ain't even all the way grown, but if you listen to my music, you old enough to like, you could think for yourself. Mm. Um, say you old enough to think for yourself. If you let this music make you run outside and go do this dumb ass shit, like, and this why this why I'm glad I I, I like coming on platforms like this because I want to let you know, like, like to the young niggas and like the kids and shit like that. Your favorite rapper ain't out here. Like, he probably ain't he ain't thugging like how you thugging though. He not waking up every day and going outside and shooting niggas and robbing niggas and killing niggas every day. Like, not saying that a nigga not about that shit, but he not living like that every day you like you, little bro. You literally can't be. You living like that. He ain't living like that. Mm. I ain't living like that. Mm. I ain't waking up every day and going shit, niggas. I ain't thugging like you, little broski. Mm. You feel me? So it's like, don't let my music get you in trouble, though. Like, but I also understand how that could be, though, because when I was young, I was influenced by music in a way. Like, I wasn't influenced by music to, like, that shit finna make me go do shit. I was influenced by music is when I'm about to go do shit, that shit helps me. It's motivating me. It's shit. motivating. Like, like I used to love listening to Lil Boosie. Like, I used to love Lil Boosie. I turned on Mind of a Maniac. <laughs> no Like, cap. that was my favorite song. That was my go-to song. And it'd be like, but that song didn't make me want to go do shit. It just, when I'm about to do what I'm, I'm in about to do, it just, you feel me? So music can't be that. Like, I get that. But you shouldn't let music make you want to run outside and do this shit because you want to be like this rapper. Cause he not but can you at least that. acknowledge it's people who do that, even though it don't make sense? It's, it's niggas who really do that. Who really do that. So is that just like a <clears throat> that's for the parents to worry about? Is 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 that something that we looking at like, damn man, like we can we can do a better job as rappers? Like just how are you looking at it? Is that something even you think about? Is I ain't gonna say we can do a better job as as rappers because Shit, the money gonna fuck around and stop flowing in because that nigga will go listen to the nigga who over here talking about this shit. Mm. So if you stop talking about that shit, shit, we just finna go listen to Broski over here that's talking about this shit. Mm. So it's like, it, nigga, I ain't gonna never tell a nigga not to speak his pain like or, or speak what he going through. Like, even though a, a, a rapper might not be like, like I said, nigga not waking up and he not doing that shit himself, but shit, everything around him is. So, mm. so a nigga really rapping. Like, like, even like now when I rap, like, I'll be in the studio, like I said, like, I don't be necessarily doing that shit, but I'll be in the studio and my niggas be in the studio and I'll be looking at such and such and I'll be like, damn, he just did such and such and now I'm about to talk about it. Mm. Like, you feel me? So that's where a lot of this shit come from. It'd be like, niggas be influenced by the niggas around you. Like, the rappers ain't out here because it's impossible for, if you think this famous rapper is out here running around famous, broad day, just blowing shit on camera like he's rapping about you crazy. Mm. Niggas really think this shit. Nah, that's, like, that's why I asked that because niggas do, but it's, a lot of young kids is listening. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I was wondering. And then the, it's like the the industry is just getting younger and younger. And niggas is it, it ain't like back in the day, bro. Back in the day, niggas lived by like a different code. Like you wasn't saying everything on the line. You didn't want niggas to know. You know what I'm saying? If you are doing something, you ain't talking Not about it. Everything on the internet. Facts. Man. And now, and even back in the day, like just me being, it sounds like I'm an old nigga, but it is what it is. It's like 
even when you could, you didn't want to broadcast it. And when the niggas that did broadcast it, that was the the, the differentiate the differentiating factor of who was about it and who wasn't about it. It's not like that now, because mm-hmm. even the niggas that's showing it, they really will pull up on your ass, no, facts. <laughs> like facts, just facts. for some likes or whatever. Like no, niggas will really no, do that shit. Because these little niggas nowadays, like. Just because they broadcasting that shit, them little niggas really be crazy though. Like Facts. these little niggas be really burnt the fuck out. And even when I say like, even like how I say these niggas not waking up and doing this shit every day, I ain't gonna say it. ain't no rappers in the world that's not doing that. Maybe some like the ones who still in their hood and and still they're not as famous. Niggas they probably out. it's some niggas who out there probably still doing tweaky shit, but they not big. They not big rappers like the the famous rappers who y'all influenced by. Facts. They not living like that. But it's probably this little nigga that's coming up who probably still on his block every day with his doing what he's doing. You feel me? Mm. But these A-list, these mainstream rappers, that these rich rappers, yeah. they not living like that. Nah, facts. It's looking back on it, yo. What was some of the things that you uh the misconceptions? This is another question I ask a lot. The misconceptions of the hood that you thought was like law. At one point in time, and then when you became older, you understood Man, that that was some bullshit. Niggas don't got no morals. I like I'm I stand on like I don't play that snitch shit. Like it's certain shit that I don't play. Like mm. and I just see like niggas be giving niggas passes. Like mm. this shit. Like if you got some money or if you like a like I thought this this shit supposed to apply to anybody. I don't give a fuck who you is. I really don't got friends no more because they told on somebody. Like. Mm. I do not play that shit. Like, and I thought this is what the fuck we were supposed to be like. But it'd be like, God damn, I'm just too real for the world. Like, nigga came in and said, you want to talk about anything. He is not fair, He bro. is with all this shit. Yeah, I don't give a damn. Let's air this shit out. Wait, so it's, it's, it's no, it's no if, ands, and buts, no excuse, no nothing. Only way you getting away with snitching to me is if you don't claim to be a street nigga. Fair. Hey, that's fair. Because I, I can't expect. That's fair. A nigga mama not to tell on nobody. I can't expect a nigga sister that's not in the streets not to tell on nobody. Even if a, a brother or yo, whoever the fuck, if he not in the streets and don't live by these rules, I can't knock you for following some rules that you don't live by. But let's, I'm going to challenge you a little bit. A lot of these rappers, the niggas that we see, right, since we here, the niggas that we see that's telling, right, and they rappers and they, they famous, are they really claiming to be street niggas, though? Or is that the music that making street music? Like you said, you could be in a studio rapping about some street nigga. That don't necessarily make you a street nigga, though. And I ain't trying mm-hmm. to get nobody on pass because I really don't give a fuck. But I'm just saying for the sake of conversation. Yeah, because you know why? Because all these rappers, see, this what, even though nigga, nigga music, nigga, all right, basically you saying like the music could make a nigga, is making a nigga seem like he a street nigga, but he really just rapping. But he not claiming that he really a street nigga in real life. He just rapping music. Mm. No. Because all these rappers claim gangs. All them niggas in gangs. So you you check, you got rules to follow because I don't know one rapper that's that rap gangsta shit that don't claim a gang. Mm. You claim a gang, you got rules to follow, broski. Mm. Damn. What if, what if... <laughs> <laughs> niggas gonna look at me like this nigga trying to make mad excuses. <laughs> what, if, what if, right? Because we don't know situations, right? And even for example, let's shit. For example, let's. We don't know what the fuck happened. Let's say hypothetically, a nigga say, "Yo, do what you got to do. I'm gonna be alright." Does that make it okay or no? Let's say, like, let's say me and you book, right? I'm booked for a long time. Like, yo, do what you got to do. I'm gonna make it up. It it don't make it okay because a nigga if, if me and you catch a case right now, if 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 we go down together, and I'd be like, man, shit, fuck me, bro. That's just me being a good nigga and me just saying like, man, I don't even care. I right, take the rap. For it's it. on you to be a good nigga. It's too. on you to want to like, you know, just don't you feel me? If that's what you want to do, that's on you. That's, that's a decision fact. you make. But I'm that's a fact. So it's like, man, it's 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 you. That's at the end fact. of the day, what you want to do? That's Can't what... tell me it's okay to snitch. Shit, tell on me. It's okay. I ain't gonna trip on you. They can't come to me and be like, hey, bro, you can snitch on me. It's cool. Yeah, that's a sister. You gotta wear that. If you cool, if you if you cool with doing that and then living with that on your back for the rest of your life and gotta deal with because man, that shit, that shit, it just it's just so much why why I was so stubborn. Like, even like when I was fighting my cases and shit like that, I'm like real stubborn and I was really ready to like go to I was facing 45 years. I really started trial. 
and was really going to trial and was not finna. I didn't care. Like, I'm not finna tell on nobody. I'm not. Nobody is coming down with me because I have morals and I got principles. I, I, my, I got a son about to be born, shit like that. He not finna have to grow up running a nigga about to be like, hey, man, your dad is snitch. Or even if you tell on a nigga, if I tell on a nigga right now, bro, I got to go home. You got to go home one day. And mm. it just, you would never be able to live your life the same. So it'd be like, do you want to live your life like this? Or just like, shit, man, I can't live my life like that. What I about ain't. this? I got, no. I got something mm. for you. Mm, gangsta. What about, <laughs> what about the niggas that talk on this shit? There's a lot of niggas, you see these podcasts, you see the interviews, you see a lot of uh, media companies and shit like that. They talking all this on this snitch shit. They claim not to be in the streets. How you, I, cause part of me feel like you can't really, like even I'm thinking about myself, I'm challenging myself, I'm like, yo, if you ain't really a street nigga, you can't really talk on that shit though. Like you're not, that's not, that's not you your business to you talk on. You don't understand. If you're not a street nigga, how do you, how are you going to speak on street shit? Cause you don't, if, if you don't understand street shit and like you, like you said though, like, like a lot of interviewers and shit, they probably don't know, ain't hey, never been in the street or don't even know nothing about it. So how is you speaking on these situations? Like that's that internet shit. Bro. The internet these niggas shit, feel like, like they can't get touched. See, I know better. That's <laughs> <laughs> I know better. Oh, uh, sure. Niggas is talking behind these cameras and think they can't get touched. A nigga will, nigga, what? It's crazy out here. Yo, you think this rap shit? Do you think somebody said um, being a rapper is like one of the most dangerous things to do now? It's, it, it. Shh, man. Being successful is one of the most. Nice. It's it's so crazy. I just seen some shit just came out. That's a bar, right nigga. There. Three Browns players just got robbed coming out of the club and shit in my city and shit though, and it been going it been on all the blogs and shit like that. And it's just like, them niggas don't rap. Them niggas, but they just in the city just minding their business, going out for a good time, and then you get robbed. Mm. But that's also come with you gotta you gotta you can't be comfortable. Why you you can't mm. move like that. I'm 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 really dope boy. I really got my city on smash. I got whatever, and I don't do certain shit. Like mm. I I still if I go out, I'm gonna have security. I'm still gonna goddamn because I gotta realize who the fuck I am. Like I'm mm. I'm rich, even though I don't need security. I got fifty niggas with me. I'm still gonna have security though. Mm. And we gonna secure the security, but I'm still gonna have security just because like it's just. You what just, did you realize that? Man, just the bigger I got and the more successful, like, it's just, it just, because I used to be big on, nigga, I don't need no security, nigga. Da, 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 da. I used to be walking around just trying to be tough as fuck. Like, and when you realize, like, man, why? Like, why are you just being so tough that you don't want security? You should want mm. security. Like, you always should want security. Why don't you want somebody that, that legally can, like, handle a situation and fix it? Like, having security fix so many different situations because it's like we could be in a club and my security could be pushing niggas out the way, it's different from my nigga pushing a nigga out the way. Right. If a nigga, if a, if my nigga pushing a nigga out the way, we finna beat this nigga ass and it's gonna turn to some bullshit. Because niggas gonna buck on a, a nigga. Like, yeah. security do it, nigga like, all right, that's security being security. But niggas don't know how to take a regular nigga doing certain shit. So it's like, security just fix a lot of shit and it just mm. stops so much shit from happening. Yo, do you feel like some of the shit that you got into in the past kind of like stayed relevant? Like, for example, like some of the beefs you was in, do you feel like even if you cleared some shit up, do you feel like that still hindered you in certain situations like in the present? Nah, not for real. Nah, hell nah. I feel like any, 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 any problem, any problem that I had, that shit mm. is out the way. Like it ain't, it ain't even nothing to it because I'm so I got tunnel vision. I'm focused. Mm. We over here doing this. That shit over there left like you know it ain't in my way like I I don't see it like but is any of that shit was any of that shit like real to the to the case of like you couldn't move forward from it like far as relationships or like even like dealing with people working with people was any of that shit real like that that serious because understanding where we come from bro we didn't have some real situations bro yeah. and a lot of I I don't know I'm not a yeah, rapper sir, but a lot sir, of that shit just it's a, it's a lot of shit. Oh, well, well, let me, let me, let me. Okay, okay, okay. I'll get, I get what you're saying. Yeah, it's certain shit that I can't fuck with now because uh, certain shit, you know, nigga just be like, it's just certain shit you know what to do, what, what you can and what you can't do. When you sign up for certain shit, you got to just understand you can't move a certain kind of way. Even if you're not directly involved in it, but it's certain mm. shit you can't fuck with. Like, okay. You feel me? So it'd be like, you got to just understand what, 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 what this shit is. It's all politics. Mm. Like, 
can't really just be you got to pick a side. Give me an example though, like it, it don't have to be like nothing that you but just give me an example. Um like all right, I'll speak on like even if I'm like me, I'll use me. If if you know I'm beefing with somebody, if you know I'm beefing with somebody and you claim you fuck with me and and we look out for each other and we, you rock with me and shit like that and I see you fucking with him. You, I mean, I'm not gonna fuck with you like that. Like, wait, wait, wait. That's hard though, bro. Because if you fuck with somebody, right, you can't in- just inherit the beef like that. Come I'm on. not telling you to inherit it. I'm not telling you to inherit it, and I'm not saying that I'm even gonna get mad at you. I'm just not gonna fuck with you. So hypothetically, like right? That. This is random. I'm gonna say a random. Your man is future, right? If if one of your other men start beefing with future, you can't just not. That's your like both y'all man, y'all both men's like that's that's both fam. You can't just pick a side, right? It depends on how serious it is. If it's some little petty shit, no. When it come down to 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 to, and who's to, to say was petty or was not? Because was petty to you might not be petty to me. Was petty to me might not be petty to you. All I'm saying is is like, see see but see but you you see because it's different. So now now as you saying like this a real this some real shit though. Like you talking about like inside like gang shit like like, nah. I'm talking. Are you saying like a? Not really gang shit. A nigga you cool with versus a nigga who, because your clique come before anything. Your for real, your clique. Like if if you you tell me your gang. Like basically, like right now, like like even with you saying that, like all right, boom. I'm free bands, right? Mm-hmm. If Pluto get into it with anybody, I'm on his side. You get mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like anybody that's not this, even if y'all got a good relationship. Because relationships is the biggest currency, in my opinion. If it's to that point, if that's that's why I say it, it depends on if they just having a little fallout, a misunderstanding, or do it come to a point to where, oh, it's serious, you got to pick a side. Like, mm. you got to go with what you is. But is it ever that serious in rap, though? I can't say, it's hard for me to say because I'm not rap a rapper. Is, rap could get like that because niggas get shot. Mm. And niggas die. If somebody gets shot or somebody die, or if, some, if something like that happened, then you have to, you can't. Play because you will get caught on that side of the fence. Right. Or basically, all I was saying, I'm not gonna get mad at you if you fuck with somebody. That I'm not gonna get mad at you, and I'm not even gonna say I won't even really fuck with. Like I won't never do nothing with you again or nothing like that. Because at the end of the day, it's business. I understand, and and you just trying to get your money and you doing this and that. But how do I feel comfortable hanging with you? Like how we was like if we was like this. And you go fuck with somebody that I was beefing with. I like don't trust you no more, bro. Yeah. I don't know you not about to get a drop up when we sitting here doing this. Mm. So it's like it's just I'm gonna change the way I fuck with you. Yeah, you gotta you gotta kind of fall back. Though. Yeah, like it. when you see nigga do certain shit, be like, oh, hold on now. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it'd be like not saying that I gotta fall out with you about it. Like shit, are oh, you hang with that nigga? Fuck you, no. Nah. But I gotta just tweak some things. Like going looking back on you, right? The situations you've been through. We don't have to say what um, if you want to. It's fine. Was it any of those situations where you was able to forgive or y'all really like reconcile and really got close again, I guess? Have you ever had have you have you ever experienced that? Have you ever did that before? Like a fallout and then got back close? Yeah, like it was like it never like nothing never happened before. If, if, if we fall out, if we really fall out, like on some real fallout shit, no, we not about to get back close at all. We probably not even about to be talking no more type mm-hmm. shit. But that, that gotta mean something though, as men, like we men, right? If you can, fall we can out get into some... it. We can get into it, like on some, like it just depends on the level of the fallout. All right, like, what's the line then? What's the what's the level that you can't cross? I guess, like if we get into it and we start speaking for a little minute and shit like that, like shit could be, you know, shit could be rocky. Everything ain't always on the best of terms. Mm. All right, we could get back cool. Like it ain't, it, of course, it's love. I love you, like shit, but. When you start crossing bound, when you start crossing lines, you take some shit to the internet, or you start spraying shit about them. You start when you start crossing them lines, we not. Getting I say because a lot of the shit we saw was internet shit though. So yeah, like, can, we, can you come back from internet shit? We not, we not gonna. I'll never fuck with you the same. Jeez, I get it. Yeah, the internet. Even shit if is, y'all squash it, even if y'all squash it, we'd never be the same. It's just boundaries. It, it don't even have to be beef. It's just boundaries. you could be cool. Yeah. All right, but you stay over there though. I right. get it. I, I mean, that makes sense. It's boundaries. It's like, but we not finna be friends. Damn. A lot, but a lot of this shit happens off of misunderstandings. So that gotta be tough. Man, you go to the internet on me. I got down, but I probably ain't gonna be your friend. 
<laughs> you might be cool, but I probably ain't gonna be your friend. Ain't it's crazy how I ain't gonna trust you. Like I went, like I can't fuck with you. Facts. Ain't it's crazy how like the internet is this thing now? Like it's really a thing. Like certain rules is internet based now. Like you can't. Hell yeah, the internet rule the world. And then a lot of niggas. You know it's crazy. I think I saw you talk about this a lot of times. A lot of shit gets sticky because of fucking comments and fans. The fans start everything. That's they start this shit. They be the ones who start this shit. But you gotta be able to forgive a nigga from, from like, cause that's hard. Before you learn this shit, be real. Take oh, let's go back. Let's go back. I want I want you to be real with me. When you first got going viral, start like it was hard to ignore fans. Now you got some some, some time under your belt. It was easy, you know. Man, this shit don't mean nothing. So if a nigga feel away because of what a fan is saying, you gotta be able to understand. You gotta you gotta have some type of soft spot. No, not not at all. You gotta understand that though. No. Yeah, I get it. I get it, and I'm not saying that I'm gonna be mad at you for real, for real. Like, but we just not finna be like. Say less. We ain't gonna be like <laughs> say this. Less, say less. I get it. Like, I get it. <laughs> you might could be cool, but I ain't finna be like. We ain't finna be. Best I say less, yo. We saw, we see you. We see you. Uh, drop the um, drop some shit with the. I call him the comeback nigga of the year. Who the baby? The baby. Yeah. First of all, his comeback is crazy. Yeah, man. You gotta salute that guy. Man, I've been telling niggas from the jump, like y'all, y'all crazy. Y'all count that man out. You gotta, you gotta salute that man. He, man, bro, respect. Nothing but respect, bro. You got to. Like, I was so happy when he got that single. I'm like, yeah. Mm, 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 mm. mm-hmm. Now what? I've been told y'all niggas. Nobody want to listen to me. But he, you know what's crazy? He really be on some rapping shit. And he are. You be hearing his freestyles and shit. Yeah, he be wow. really. He got. He snapped on this shit. I got. Wait, wait till that niggas hear that shit. That shit. Because you ain't wild. dropped the whole thing. You, yeah, it was like a partial. First, yo, he went crazy. Yo, how I like you really? You about to drop? You doing press? Like you really in rapper mode right now? Yeah, man. Like, is it feeling good? Is it is it feeling like surreal? Is it feeling like I'm back? How, like, how is it feeling? Yeah, no, for sure. I can't. I feel like I feel like I got everybody attention, whole world watching. I'm finna just. I'm finna show out, man. You feel like Doughboy again? Yeah, is man. It I like, feel like Doughboy. It, I swear to God, it'd be really like. <laughs> Nigga really be having to be in no modes because sometimes I don't feel like Doughboy. Sometimes nigga be having to get his swagger back sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes I don't be like, man, fuck this shit. Like, fuck this shit. I ain't buying this shit. Fuck this shit. But Damn. yeah, man, nigga be in the mode. Like, nigga, you see, like, nigga, what's up? Like, you see, I'm, my energy is just Yo, you, I'm in this bitch. I'm, I was going to ask, do you feel like, like, again, like, I always wanted to interview and, all, and we could have these cool conversations, but, and it's work, but I always show niggas respect. It's funny, my friend told me I got to stop doing this shit, but I don't give a fuck. I always show niggas homage. Like, you definitely like a star. You get what I'm saying? Appreciate that. Do you feel like you doughboy that everybody, that, that the people that look up to you, like how we feel about you, respectfully, like, yo, that's doughboy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Do you feel like that? Or you still sometimes feel like you downplay your celebrity? Mm. I, 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 no, I'm, I'm getting into the mode to where I'm like, I'm really realizing, like, nigga, you have to be like this. You have to move mm. like this. You are a rapper. You are a celebrity. Yeah. So I'm really, I'm in that mind state now. Like before I didn't really care and I just used to brush that shit off. Mm. I'm on point now. Like I got my shit together. How it feel knowing that, yo, I'm like, yo, again, I, bro, because the trenches for me was, it's, it ain't that long ago. Yeah. I would feel like you, you really doing the shit you said you was going to do. You really got the ice, you shine, you got the money, you got the relationships. It's like, bro, like I'm really, do you ever think about that now? Yeah, hell yeah. I, I was just thinking about it even just like this morning. Mm-hmm. Like, I've been up since fucking, I woke up at like, man, I, I probably got like an hour of sleep last night. And I've been up since like 5.30 this morning. Like, I went to sleep at like 4, woke up at like 5.30 and just been up. Mm-hmm. And I was just, with my headphones on. I was I actually woke up, I was drinking. Mm-hmm. I was drinking low bowls, 6 o'clock in the morning. I'm really a rap. But, I could do. I could do this. But it's so crazy. But I, cause I, I really ain't even been drinking. Like niggas think I be drinking no more. Like I really calmed down on, on the. No, liquor I saw it though. Yeah. I, I said it the last one. You ain't even. Drinking. You said I don't even got no bottle. You yeah. said I don't even got no. I, I can't even remember last time I did a press yeah. run with no with no liquor. I don't even have no liquor. I'm drinking your shit and I'm no. just having a little bit. It's crazy. No. <laughs> so, but it's like I was just waking and I was just I'm like, man, fuck that. Like nigga, this a big day for me. Like nigga, mm. I'm really doing this shit. Like I'm really finna drop my biggest album ever. Like I know what this shit finna do. I know I'm finna. Hit my first billboard. Like, I know I'm finna get my first billboard on my first project. Like, on just my first project going billboard. This shit like, I, I know I'm finna, I'm finna hit the, like, it's, it's just, oh, I'm finna hit this my start hard. on the ass. Like, this shit hard, bro. Yes, and it, it, it's, it's hard watching it, bro, because a lot of times you, a lot of people don't admit it, right? Like, a lot of people, they live in their, their bubble. 
right? But talking to people who can be transparent and be like, nah, bro, it still feel good. I still feel like it's surreal. Like mm -hmm. that shit feels amazing to see because niggas deserve it. You right. know what I'm saying? And honestly, it, and like honestly, bro, I'm gonna keep it on. If you a real nigga, you salute niggas that's doing it good because you know that you gonna be there soon too. I feel like to hate on somebody and have an action behind it is some fuck shit. Fact. You could feel like somebody, you can feel a way, but to move on it is fuck shit in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Like we hear me. Like something make you feel a way. All right, grind harder. If, if that's the feel, okay, cool. Exactly. But don't be on a like. I don't feel like hater. I don't see how you. Niggas take the time of their day to hate on shit. Like you go out your way to hate on nah, shit. Fact. I don't. I, I never. I never understood it. Like even like, if you got something, just that shit make me want to motivate you, right? Man, I sit around niggas. I hang with all everybody around me. How you think I feel when I'm around a nigga like Future, bro? I feel piss poor. Like, but it make me want to go harder. I'm poor as fuck. Like we all really be sitting around. I'm like, man, I'm broke. Like I don't got shit. Mm. But it's just like you always gonna be like that. Like it don't make it don't make me be like, oh man, I'm pissed. Man, that's just, I, mean, I need that. I right. want that. But it make me happy. They got the fucking blueprint, bro. Future, and I'm not even from Atlanta, bro. Future got some one of the best come ups ever. Like I feel like this is from my experience, right? Future was always future in Atlanta. But like the moment I seen him drop Dirty Sprite Two, that's when I'm like his career. Shit, like went to the next level. Man, I was in jail and all that shit was going on. Like when he dropped Dirty Sprite Two, then the, the, the shit with Drake, alive, all that shit. Like, and I'm just and everybody just telling me about this shit. And I'm like, man, what the fuck? Like, I used to hear, I had him on my player and shit though, but I couldn't really see it. I couldn't see what the fuck was going on. I'm like, bro, this nigga future just going crazy. Like this nigga on a whole nother level. Whole nother level. And that's the type of spurt I'm trying to hit right now. Like Facts. that's what I'm trying to do right now. This need to be my Dirty Sprite Two. Like, and, and that's what I say. So when you're around niggas like that. It's, like you, it's like you shouldn't hate because like we niggas saw his come up. Mm -hmm. Niggas, it's so many rappers nowadays. We could say, damn, we saw that come up. Man, I remember when I signed with Future, nigga. He had just dropped like it was like he had True Story out with Ain't No Way Around It and all that type mm. of shit. Like back in them days, yeah. Like to think, I used to think shit. I was cool with him being that big, like mm. like same damn time Future, like that level that he was on. That was big to me. No, nah, facts. I was cool with signing with Future then. Like if we would have been right there, I would have been like, shit, come on, this shit, that's what we doing. No, nah, that makes sense. But the fact this nigga this big is like, man, what the fuck? This shit ain't even. This shit ain't real, man. bro. This is bro, this is hard, bro. I think even this conversation, it's just again, man. It feels so good to be able to talk to. People that's level headed, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of niggas just <sighs> dumb. Right. Nah, for real, and weird though. Dumb, bro, and weird. Though. And weird. Very. It just is what it is, man. I appreciate you for pulling up, Thank dog. You. Um, any missed opportunities, things that we did we didn't get a chance to touch on that you wanted to touch on? Mm. No, nah, you like we we like we just got busy on this one. Bro. Nah, we was talking some real shit. Yeah. You right. feel me? I, I, um, bro, I wish you nothing but success. Oh uh, wait, who you got on the project? I feel like this is gonna come out. Mm. What's Sunday? What's the date on Sunday? I just, I just, I just revealed the features a couple oh, hours ago. Am I say you get who, who mm. you got on there? Um, I got Future, G Herbo, Roddy Rich, um, Lola Brooke, Don Tolliver. You did something with um, what's the chick name? Like I just heard you talking about it. Days Loaf. <sighs> yeah, that's hard. That's going on my deluxe. Oh. I'm actually dropping the deluxe too. I just leaked it here. She hard. Jumping the deluxe. I'm putting that song on the deluxe. Yeah. Is she still like making music? Yeah, like, she 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 back on her shit. Hell yeah. She one of the hardest, bro. Yeah, days to go. She one of the hardest, bro. Damn, yeah. bro. Damn. Yeah. What are you looking like? Oh, what are you looking? Oh, uh, my artist Big Flame on there too. My artist Big Flame. He from Cleveland. Where he from? He from Cleveland. He from Cleveland. How how is it in Cleveland right now? Um, them, them niggas be tripping, but I'm trying. Like, we try to get this shit together. You still going back? Uh, I go back here and there. Type yeah. shit. It's like you. It's funny because like coming up, niggas wanted. <laughs> I don't know if you can relate to this, but right, nigga being a the local rapper, right, niggas always want the love from their city. Man, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit, like, cause. But at one time you had to, right? No, I, I not when I say I don't give a fuck about none of that. I mean it's like I don't feel like I gotta go here to prove something. Yeah, like, facts. Yeah, like I don't, I, I don't, I don't feel like I have to. To be in the city and just be in the hood all day, every day to prove to y'all, like, hey, Cleveland love me. But did you have to learn that though? Cause yeah, hell yeah. I, I that's did. what I'm saying. I hell feel like yeah. at one point in time, niggas wanted that. Now, Cleveland love me from a distance, goddamn shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't come hang with y'all niggas. Y'all niggas crazy. I can't be with y'all every day, brusky. <laughs> it's really crazy out there. Be tripping. But it feel good to like to know that, like you said, bro, I ain't got there ain't no flaw in me. You yeah, feel me? Facts. I don't got no stain on my resume. Yeah, and yeah. if I wanted to, I could I, go home. Man, exactly. I could do whatever I want to. 
whatever yeah. I want to. And I still do do it, and I do it as I please. And every time I'm in the city, I go to my hood. I'm in my hood. Like, I'm, I pop out. I'm in the city. I'm mobbing. Uh, I'll be outside. Can't, none of the ops say I don't be outside. Like, it's like, you feel me? It's like and that. I, I do what I want. It's hard, man. Drop the tape details and sure. everything, man. Let them know what's going on. Oh, really? Beasy on the way. Huh. Midnight is up. Stuck. You did. Oh, it's... Bone Thugs and Harmony on there. That's hard. Yeah. That's Legendary fire. shit. That's fire. Yo, J Hill, J Hill Podcast. This shit don't get no better than this. Doughboy. You did. This shit was hard. We out. It's a wrap. So.